hello everyone so today we are going to work on uh, alerting nearby enemies from the alarm tower sound so what i'm planning to do is come here and get detected by this enemy and shooting sound of this enemy may not be heard by these enemies so even if this guy is shoot me and turn on the alarm the these guys will be alerted by the alarm sound not by the shooting sound so that's what i'm going to work on today making the alarm tower alert other nearby enemies to see show that in action let me equip the ak and enable silencer so that they won't hear me shooting get detected Other guys are not alerted. But if kill this guy, the alarm is sounded. Now see, these guys are coming to check. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna work on today. Okay, so uh, at the moment what happens is uh, when the alarm is uh, activated it's not it doesn't really uh, notify surrounding enemies or anything it's just play a sound and also we implemented a function which allows the alarm to spawn some backups so we defined a variable see this backup count so for now i'll make it zero so now we are going to work on how to make the alarm actually uh, notify the surrounding enemies so that those enemies who will get alerted and come to the area where the player has been detected so to test that let me duplicate this enemy and place one over here okay now mm, mm, yeah. now if i kill uh, when i get spotted by this enemy if i uh, if this guy shoot then definitely the other guy will hear and respond to that but if I don't give a gun to him let's see under the guns we can remove the primary weapon so none of the weapons are available for this guy see so he wouldn't have any guns now let me equip the ak and enable silencer uh, you know for the moment we can enable silencer for that but maybe later on i will disable enable silencers for particular guns now here if i shoot the other enemies will not hear now let me get detected by this guy Wait, why isn't he? Oh, I am detected, but he don't have a gun. That's the issue. My alarm is not playing. I think alarm toggle alarm is bound to some event that happens only if the enemy starts shooting but uh, let's see uh, 
and PC manager all right turn on alarm is called only if the NPC character call this can I shoot function but where do I get this called right here in this toggle fire pt task but um, this part is not called if the enemy don't have a gun all right so that's a problem okay so then what we can do is well i actually haven't de uh, designed the game to not to have any weapons for any enemies so let's say let's give this guy only a uh, yeah, actually, uh, at this range, they don't hear if the enemy starts shooting. But that's only for enemies. Uh, so let's get detected and let's use uh, silenced pistol weapon and kill this guy once the alarm is sounded. Killed. Now the alarm is working, but the other guy is not coming to check on it. So what I and also the alarm stopped. So yeah. So what I want to do is when the alarm is activated, uh, I want it to actually give some notification like make these other enemies alerted. For that. Um, we can do something like making a noise that AIs can detect and respond to, but the phone who is making the noise should be the player or whoever the detected enemy by these AI characters that triggers the alarm. So, in the NPC manager, we are call in this can I shoot and here we call turn on alarm and uh, but still we don't have a target or an instigator that is responsible that means not exactly responsible that should act as the source of the noise otherwise enemy AI perception system will not perceive that so uh, when we get a request to turn on the alarm let's add a porn reference this could be a character to mm, detected enemy see now how do we pass this detected enemy uh, it could be passed from here we get this shoot target into this can I shoot function so let's give that uh, here we get a uh, actor okay all right so then let's convert this to a actor and then here when we call toggle alarm with true let's add another input in the same type actor object reference detected enemy <laughs> right 
right now here let's promote this to a variable and set the detector dynamic here and pass its value like this now in the alarm as I said we need to make a noise so uh, maybe just making a one-time noise should be enough for now so how do we do that let's get the detected enemy and not a read out not here make noise uh, let's call it make alert noise because this is the noise that is going to alert other enemies okay and now uh, there is this uh, make noise make noise okay oh actor is fine we don't really need a phone reference here that's better now mm. the location i think for the location it's okay to use get location the location of this uh detector enemy and as for the noise range maybe let's have a parameter alarm range as the default value let's have something like 5000 okay and tag is 2 because uh, it's like a major threat not a minor threat, a major threat. So, is that all? Let's see. Get the weapon and enable silence. Make a whistle, get detected. And kill the guy wait for the alarm see other guy is coming nice so they are actually alerting the enemies cool so yeah what I wanted to do is work it all right so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye